Welcome back to another exciting episode of The Critics Hub. In this video, we're gonna deep dive into Dead Mouth Death Play Episode 2. Yeah, your applause is, um, applause are justified. So, sit back, relax, and hit subscribe. Hmm, bago tayo magkalimutan, ha? Could you please like and share this video? Salama! I'm not going to, um, Hold you to your to your uh, to your golden time. Let's get to the nitty gritty of this one. Face. We started this episode off with a backstory sequence, but as soon as uh, as soon as the fire rescue sequence started rolling around, you know, that's the only time this episode became tense. And uh, in between, medio medio comical pa nga in nature. Do I have complaints? Nope. Because for me, uh, the pacing of this episode was balanced. Eh. It was slow when it needed to be. Lalo nat nung, uh, nung backstory sequence, okay? I gotta commend it. Uh, I gotta commend C2C for this. Mabagal yung pacing ng backstory sequence because we really need to understand what the Corpse God's mindset is. Or at least give us an idea. Then of course, the fire rescue sequence, siempre tension. Eh, oh, I don't care if you're uh, if you're the reincarnated corpse god. You're in human form. You can harm yourself in uh, inside a big fire like that. Okay. So, balance yung pacing, guys. Okay, balance. Flow naman. First gear shift was when well, Misaki woke up from. Obviously, from her own death. It was a really disturbing type of uh, gear shift. Pero why did I call it as such? Kasi dito, uh, dito, dito para nagsimula yung ano yung yung, <clears throat> yung napakahabang explainer sequence as to uh, well, as to basically how it all led to Misaki's resurrection. Final gear shift. Yep, dalawa lang. Was when Polka jumped into that fire. No brainer right there, folks. Because this gear shift justified the backstory sequence which opened the episode. The corpse god isn't uh, isn't born evil after all. He wasn't born a bad guy after all. He cared about kids. He cared about life, and he and he too sought peace. It's a really strong validation sequence. Okay? Kaya nga gear shift eh. So these two gear shifts that I saw, guys, <clears throat> absolutely bitin. Tandaan nyo, merong napakahabang sa, ano, uh, explainer sequence dito. You do not want to miss out on that. Because the two gear shifts only, only served as borders for this one. For the, um, for the actual explainer sequence. But wise. <clears throat> Backstory. Therefore, Planchado ang plot, guys. I could not discount the fact that there was a backstory sequence. Na considerably long, okay? Well, it did open the episode, pero it's still a backstory sequence. Kung, <clears throat> oh, kung wala ito nun, in this episode, the plot might have been, might have deemed, might have been deemed clean. Pero, uh, I see the value in this backstory sequence eh. It, tala, talagang pinapicture sa atin ng main protag kung ano talaga yung, uh, yung pinaghuhugutan niya. He was trying very hard to explain his mindset to these modern people. So, for, for us, the audience, ito ang kanyang, uh, ang kanyang explainer ng kanyang mindset, the backstory sequence. So, in the end, you, know, you just couldn't, you just couldn't take that out of the episode. Eh? You cannot deem it as unnecessary. It's part of the episode. Although it's not part of the main continuity, but it clearly explains the mindset uh, the corpse god has na dinala niya dito sa modern era. So, 
I got no complaints. Totally well ironed out plot, guys. If it weren't this ironed out, hindi nabi maintindihan. Una una ang mindset ni Polka. Ilang yun. So, pace, flow, and plot. We all came together for this episode, folks. Right? Dead Man Dead Play gave us another quality episode. And we're just into a. Uh, and we barely. We barely. Um, uh, gotten through the first half of it. So, kasi episode 2 palang. So, Dead Mouth, Dead Play, episode 2. Yeah, no brainer. Two thumbs up! Now, last order of business, the thumbnail. Ito na nga. This was the exact sequence where uh, that well, that clearly illustrates the second gear shift. Ito yung exact moment kasi na talagang lumusong na sa kamalaking sunog na to si Polka. Or you can also you can still call him the corpse god. Right? Wow. He looked he look OP in this one. Because he is in human form, but he's right here in the middle of this raging fire just to save some kids. Now, if that isn't hero material for you, I don't know what is. Right? Uh, it, looks, it clearly shows how uh, how serious he, he he wants to turn in a new leaf. He wants peace? Well, this is his first act of peace, in my opinion. And it is also thumbnail material. Don't, don't, doesn't he look so OP to you guys in, in this one? So yeah, we're gonna still we're still gonna keep tabs on this anime. Uh, it delivered another quality episode. And to think episode two ito ha. Normally uh, medyo medyo mawawala ng momentum ang isang anime pag episode two eh. Uh, it would um it would uh it would start out with a bang, then suddenly in episode two medyo magto tone down. Dito hindi. I didn't see that in this one. In the meantime, what's the other reviews on this uh, on this thing? Okay, remember, guys, Dead Mount Dead Play isn't the only anime on this roster, so enjoy.